So this is Thinkcar ThinkScan 689 Bluetooth version. Very hot scanner right now and that is because this is I believe first ever scan tool that comes with three lifetime updates. So usually with scan tool you have one to three years free updates but then you have to pay if you want to get newest software. But with this Thinkcar scanner you are getting free updates for life. Now I want to disclose, I got this scanner for free, Thinker sent me this scanner to test it out and make video, so we can play a little bit on cars and we can see what it can do and if it is worth buying. Ok, if I turn it around, here is my VCI, Bluetooth version, and it's magnetic, so you can just stick it, and then it has this nice holder, so you can use it to position scan tool how you like. I will now connect it to my OBD port. Yeah, it is connected, blue light on. First of course we will do diagnosis, this is most important function of any scanner. So you got auto search, but this Fabia is too old, so we have to go through diagnose tab. So I have to find my car. Skoda. Already I can see we can not only do health report, we can access all control modules separately. We can do system scan to see which modules my car has. But then also, why I really love Finkar scanner is because if you live in one of countries that have VAC cars very popular, like we have here, Finkar will give you same functionality for these cars like you would get with VCDS, which cost around same like this Finkar, but it works only for VAC vehicles. You get coding, adaptations, guided functions, online coding even. So if I want to replace module on my Skoda, or any other VAC car, I can use this online coding to get new code for control module. Ok, but about that later, and we can start with health report. I should have some faulty control modules. Ok, so my full scan is finished, now I can see diagnostic report. So these control modules with green mark, these are without fault codes, and then I have five fault codes in four control modules. So we have some fault in engine, in brakes, instrument cluster and radio. I can also click on that code which would take me to Google search. So here I can get more information about this code. I mean every scan tool does this, not really the most useful feature because <laughs> you can just type in fault code to Google, but this is a little bit faster. So we have this fault code report, I can either clear fault codes but let's not do that right now, or I can do diagnostic report, so you can fill out all this information about car, about shop, even about customer. If you're running car shop or any car service where you would want to give reports to your customer, you will find this very helpful, and then you can also share this report either to your email, by Bluetooth, or save it as PDF. And then if I want to go to some control module separately, I can go back, system selection, for example, if I want to go to engine. Now I am inside engine control module and we have a bunch of features for every control module. So first I can get some more information about my control module. Here is additional information, VIN number, coding, software version, system description, so part number for my ECU. We can read fault codes, already did that. Then we got clear fault codes, so I would clear these codes, but only for engine control module. Then of course data stream. There is some really bad sound going on. <laughs> but now I can see my live data in table. Here on top I can change between metric and imperial system. So I will choose metric. I can record this data. When we are done with recording, it will save in the file tab that I will show you later. But then of course you can view live data in form of graphs. We can combine them together. <laughs> that was my oil pressure light. But whatever, so you can combine these graphs together.
I can take sample of my current live data. So if I'm about to fix something or do some testing, I can do sample now. And then maybe after fix, I take another sample and I compare them together. Okay, let's save this select sample one, for example. Okay. See, so now it is comparing data with sample. And when I get out of range, it will be in red values. So you can kind of compare different live data samples from same car. I think I can turn off engine now. So then we have freeze frame data. If you have some fault code, if you select freeze frame, it will show you value from when this code was stored. So first time that ECU picked up this code, it also saved live data parameters from exact that time. Now we have actually two freeze frame data, but I believe this is because one code was pending and second time it was current code. So same code will have two freeze frame data. And if I go to details, I think there should be also some uh, live data library, but this just wants to send me to Google. But scanner also has some built-in library, so you can also use it to find out fault code meaning. Okay, then we have a bunch of extra features, but for that I think we will change control module. But in engine you also get readiness page. This is like smoke check if you want to take out to emission inspection. You want to check this smoke check monitors. See catalytic converter monitor says it is not okay. EVAP system and oxygen sensor and other systems should be okay. So that is only for engine control module, but let's go to different one. We can do central electrics. Okay, so right now we are in body control module. So same like before, like for every control module, you can read codes, clear codes, read live data. So in here we will have different live data. Then we have for engine, every control module got its own live data, its own fault codes, its own bidirectional tests. Let's try it. Actuation tests. See, now it is testing this emergency light. Now, usually with bidirectional testing, if you use this scanner or any bidirectional scanner on most cars, you actually got list of components that you can test and you will choose which one you want to test. But old VAC cars like this Skoda has this actuation test sequences. So when I open bidirectional testing for body control module, it will go through with the sequence and in sequence it will test everything that can be tested with scanner. So it doesn't matter if I connect Finkar or different scanner, X-Tool, Autel, OBD-11, any scanner which I connect to this car will do same bidirectional testing sequence for body module. Okay, so next it will test windshield wipers. Now faster speed, slower speed, heated air window, Horn. I always forgot it will do that. Okay, you got the point. So you can do this bidirectional testing. And then we have also OEM functionality. This is very good because this is all brand scanner. Not sure how many, but it covers around, I think, 120 brands. But they still included this OEM functionality like this adaptation, basic settings, login, coding module, online secure login. These are all VAC functions. So for Volkswagen, Audi, Seat, Skoda. And these are functions you will find only in best VAC scanners like VCDS, OBD11 or even dealership software. So with scanner like this we have maybe 80-90% of possibility that you can do with VAC dealership software. Which is kind of nice because this is one of cheaper scan tools. It is around 500. But of course if you browsed scan tools before you know that prices go up even to two, three, four thousand dollars. So 500 is not that expensive compared to other scan tools. That's why I really love Finkar Mukar brand because they got this OEM functionality for a bunch of brands. So I mean I can show you for example adaptation. Now I am in body module, I will select read by list. And here are a bunch of settings I can adapt. This is old car, so there is not that many adaptations. But I mean, for example, this comfort blinking. This is for turn signal. So now it is set to 5. So if I press my turn signal, it will blink 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I can adjust it, for example, let's do 3. Select OK. Adaptation success. 
and now it should blink only three times. One, two, three. See, so we can also do customizations with this scanner. Now again, how many customizations you can do, that depends on your car model. This is old car, not that many customizations, but if you use it for a newer car, you will have a lot more options you can customize with this. Okay, then I am interested about what is this maintain information. Check this out so it can even tell me, for example, if you want to do some basic settings in the engine, here is list of channel numbers explanation, because when I go back, so now I am in this diagnostic tips, but let's say I am in engine module and I want to do some basic settings, for example, add out my throttle body or whatever it is. When you work on VAC car, older VAC car, it will often ask you for a channel number, but probably you don't know what channel number that is. So what I can do, I can open that maintain information channel information, engine, basic settings, and now here I have a list of basic settings I could do, or at least try to do, not all of them will be supported by my car, but now I know which channel number to input. So also another very helpful feature for VAC cars. And then you also get special function information, so for service procedures, here you will get extra information that will help you perform this procedure. Then you also get VAC guided functions, but I don't want to talk only about VAC because this is scanner for all brands. So let's just go back and now let me give you a full walkthrough and we will check everything that scanner can do. So in this diagnose tab we have auto search. If you have newer car that you scan bus system instead of old KWP like in this Skoda you can just use auto search. You don't have to input vehicle model and this will search for VIN number automatically and then it will open diagnostic software for your car model but if you have older car like I have it will not work but at least I can enjoy this matrix animation <laughs> failed to read VIN number please select manually but if you have newer car it will detect car model if you have older car then you can select in this tab of course ok so here is diagnose that we used before here is OBD so this is same like that engine code reader with this you can connect to literally any car that uses OBD2 system and you can read codes, clear codes, live data, readiness monitors but only for engine control module. Where I find this useful, sometimes when you go through these advanced diagnostics and scan all control modules, especially engine, sometimes you can struggle to find these very basic parameters like oxygen sensor data or catalytic converter temperatures or fuel trims. So if I am looking for those, it is better to go through this OBD tab, it is way simpler. Then you have this history, which will allow you to quickly access some vehicle that you scanned before. So for example this Skoda I already scanned. So I don't have to select car model anymore, I can just go through this history, select Skoda and I would connect through here. Then we have reports, so my old diagnostic reports, remember I saved that Skoda report, this is diagnostic report and then also my saved live data log. And even though I recorded this data as text, I can also see them in graph, separate graphs or combine to one graph. So here you can check your live data logs and diagnostic reports and feedback. If you have any problem you can feedback to ThinkCar. Next we have these maintenance features. You can select like this but I like to go to this table. And here you don't have pictures, you have also explanations of what these scanner features do. So how many service resets we have? 3 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 34, so 34 service procedures. Now not all of them you can use for your car model, because all these service procedures it will depend which of them are supported by your car, but you can even find out for example let's say ECU reset, if I hold it I can go view model coverage, so for every service procedure I can check compatibility. 34 different service procedures, so I guess that is enough for everything you might want to do as mechanic or DIY mechanic. Now I opened my key programming, but which of them I have, I don't know. Maybe this, read immobilizer data, let's try it. I'm not sure which immobilizer is in my car and there is like 12 different to choose from. Failed to read EEPROM data. Okay, I don't know which of them I have, but possibly I could read immobilizer EEPROM data, so I can also use it. 
to make new keys. Okay, so we have the service procedures. What else is here? Upgrade, either upgrade for vehicles, service procedures or for software of this Finkar scan tool. So if I select, for example, cars, it will show me once I don't have updated. See, here is latest version, so these are updated, but this first I need to update and then also service procedures, but all of them I have up to date. So here you will be updating your scanner and once again, updates are free. So Finkar in this scan tool they came up with free lifetime updates which is very unusual for these types of OBD2 scanners. So I hope that other manufacturers will also start doing this. I mean probably they will have to if they want to compete because this is selling really good and I am guessing it is mostly based on that free lifetime updates because really none of us likes to pay subscriptions. Okay, and then you have more, so what do we have here? Settings, here you can select your email address where then you can send your scans or reports of your scans. Then for FCA Diagnostics and Renault.ca Gateway Unlock, these are add-ons that you have to buy if you need them, so they are not included, think about that. For language, there are a bunch of choices, let me just scroll it for you so you will know if your language is supported. There are a lot of languages to choose from. And then here is another menu, so let's check this. We have online service, so we can get some technical support, user manual, or oh, whatever, I don't read manuals anyway. OB default code library, this I mentioned, so we had code, I believe it was P0342. And here not only you can do Google search, but you can also access this database of fault codes, right? So camshaft position sensor A, and here I get paragraph explaining what it is and why do I have this code. Then coverage list, here you can check coverage, module, you can connect TPMS module, videoscope, oscilloscope, printer or battery tester, gadget, not sure what is that, remote assistance. So you can also connect to your computer or some other computer and let someone work on your scanner. Too bad I don't have some newer car available, so I would show you more of ECU coding, because this has ECU coding, so you can unlock hidden features. This is also a very rare scanner, because having free lifetime updates, bidirectional scanner and ECU coding in one tool, I think this is only OBD2 scanner that has this. So I know that 500 is not that cheap for DIY mechanic, but think about it like for long term use, you will save a lot of money on these updates. And then what is great with scanner like this, that you can sell it very easily. I sell a lot of OBD2 scanners and doesn't matter that is used if you can say that your OBD2 scanner has included free lifetime updates, it sells so fast. For example now, this costs you about, if you go to link in description to official Thinkcar page, they have 100 off coupon. So now you can get it under $500 and I think the price will go up maybe after a year so I can use it for one year then it might cost 600 and I will be able to sell it for 400, 450. So you can actually get most of your money back when you are selling it. So if you want to buy it, link will be in the description and then also I will make blog post about this and there will be some more photos and more information. So you can check it out in the description. But wait, before you buy any OBD2 scanner, I suggest downloading my OBD2 scanner buyer's guide. It explains scanner features and also different scanner types, so you will understand which scanner type you need and there are also best options to get. It is completely free and you can download it in the description. 